Well, it's about 7.40. I'm a little late. Uh, I dropped clients off this morning and it was just kind of scouting around. Now I'm gonna try and shoot me an odd at you or maybe a black buck doe or something like that. I got my recurve and my big camera. Gotta do a little bit of self-filming. Man, look at this axis buck. I doubt y'all are able to see that at all, but big ass axis buck running across the field right there. Anyways. Out right here walking around, just gonna try to do a little bit of spot and stock. We'll just see what we're able to sneak up on. I'll get back to you. Oh, there's a whole herd of mouflon. <laughs> Well, there she is, guys. I saw her try and get up, and she really wasn't able to, so I snuck up and put a second shot on her. Um, I was a little discouraged after that first shot how far back it was, but it really didn't take long and now she's down and uh, we'll get some mutton, probably probably do a, do a cook up of one of the back straps or maybe a tenderloin or something. Anyways, move on you down, spot and stock with the recurve, that was freaking awesome. Hey, what's going on guys? So I've got that hind quarter off of my move on. Sky actually got done with his uh, dove client, so now he's down here to film a little bit and help me out. This is Colfat. We got off of a Armenian mouflon, a client shot. Try to end up with some sort of like pulled pork situation and do some barbecue sandwiches. Cover it in mustard, do a bunch of seasonings and wrap it up in that cold fat. Do another layer of seasoning. This is going to render and, and keep it moist. Uh, should have something pretty good in the end of it. All right, before we get started, we're just gonna take off a little bit of this silver skin and uh, anything else that's gonna make it chewy.
Well, there she is all cleaned up. That's about as good as you need to get it without going overboard. All right, to start, we're gonna throw on some honey mustard. And then once we have it really lathered up, we're gonna kind of combat that sweet with some salty uh, Fiesta seasonings. Just rub that in, try to get it in all the nooks and crannies. All right, we'll start with some pork rub. And you're pretty heavy handed with your seasonings. You want a good crust on there. A little bit of uh, fajita seasoning. Just do that to both sides. And coal fat is the fat that kind of cradles all of its uh, internal organs. It's like the only fat on wild game that's really edible. It actually adds a lot of really good flavor and a lot of really good moisture. And as that fat heats up, it'll render. All right, throw some seasoning on the coal fat, and then we're gonna put her on the Traeger. Let's go get her on the grill. in here for uh, like eight hours. Been on there for two hours, it's time to flip it. So we'll go do that right quick. After it's gone another like two hours on the other side, we're gonna wrap it in foil and finish it off that way. So to help keep everything good and moist, we're going to throw a beer can in there. Be buddies right there. Oh, out right of gas. Be back in two hours. Another two hours down. The grill's been holding 250 really well. Might only go another hour. Another hour down, it's time to let it rest. We're gonna throw it in a cooler and just let it sit for a while. It's getting late and I'm getting hungry, man. Kill the Traeger and go throw it in a cooler. All right, she got her beauty rest and now it's the time I've been waiting for. It's like 10, we put it on at 420. Oh man. Probably don't want to chop that coal fat up with it. So, man, look at that bone coming out of it. Golly, that looks awesome. Come against the grain. Look at that right there, man. We're going to do like some sliders. We've got some King Hawaiian uh, rolls, some Stubbs barbecue sauce, and so we're gonna do some barbecue sandwiches, a little barbecue slice. I can't take it, I'm gonna have to bite just a little bit though. Did we do it? Dude, I'm not even... Dude, hit it, hit it dude, right there. It fell apart. Got it. so tender, man. I'm talking five star. That's unbelievably good. Man. The next time, a client tells me they don't want to shoot a mouflon because you can't eat those nasty things. Absolutely ridiculous. Because that is like restaurant quality. <laughs> Dude, <that's> so <laughs> pulled pork. Smoke ring from the Traeger. The seasoning. Fantastic.
it's all there, man. Damn. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Blackwater. Big thanks to Jancy for the spot and stock on the moufle on you. Oh, yeah. Got it done. Turned it into an absolutely fantastic meal. We're going to go ahead and eat this. But, hey, if you guys enjoyed that, give us a like for all Jancy's hard work. And please go ahead and subscribe to us. By the way, also, if you want to be notified every time we put one of these out, there's a little bell at the top. Just click that. It'll let you know anytime we do a new video. Thank you all again for watching. Look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow back here on Blackwater. Oh my gosh, that's good. It's seriously like so good.